Operation Ember Rose. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Operation Ember Rise. Coming to theaters near you. Let's go, boys. Operation Burrier. Operation. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Let's go, boys. Yo, shout out to my friend. Uh, yo, this is his uh, username right here. Add him, put some rainbow with him. Let me use his account to get these new ops. Shout out to him. Okay, so we got. Amaru first, the Gara Hook, a high tensile grappling gun used for fast access to rappel points and open hatches or to enter via exterior windows at limited distances. Look at her loadout, she has the GAA1, which is IQ's machine gun. She has the Supernova, which is Habana and Echo shotgun. She has the ITA12S, which is Mira shotgun. She has the SMG-11, which is Sledge's secondary. She has the Claymore and Stun Grenades. We can just look at her headgears. These are the ones that, just the basic ones that you can buy. If you want to read her bio, you can read it right here. Pause the video if you want to read it. Kojata, Peru, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, height 1.89 meters, weight 84 kilograms, nickname Amaru, operation name Azucena Rocchio Quispy, date of birth May 6th, age 48, old woman, difficulty 2, speed 2, armor 2, we can look at her uniforms too, that one looks pretty cool, huh? If we switch over to defenders, we have Goyo. Volcan shield. Incendiary bomb that explodes when destroyed. Attached to a deployable shield. You can look at his headgears. Uniforms. Okay. Like I said, pause the video if you want to read this. And this is some good stuff because this has Thermite talking about it and he's talking to Mira and stuff like that, so... Okay, now let's look at his loadout. And it makes sense that he was talking to Mira and that he was with Mira because he has Mira's weapon right here. The Vector .45 ACP. Then he has Cage Shotgun. TCSG-12. This thing's crazy. The secondary uh, handgun. The P229. He's got impact grenades. And he's got nitro cells. I don't know who that is. Comment, comment below. I don't know. I don't use handguns much. I'm more of a... I'm more of a SMG type of guy. And as you can see, there's an unranked playlist now. The new unranked playlist is here. Practice competitive gameplay without affecting your rank or MMR. Playlist settings. Play bomb matches with the same rules and map pool as ranked. Quitting. Rank ban policies apply to both ranked and unranked. So now there's an there's a unranked. Basically, it's the exact same as ranked, but without a rank. So, unranked is a multiplayer playlist, playlist where you can practice competitive gameplay without affecting your ranking and MMR. 5v5 bomb clearance level above 10, 12 maps, temporary ban, renown game penalty, match counts as loss. So, we're just going to be playing, you know, we're going to play unranked for, just for that. We're going to be playing unranked. 
On second thought, I just thought of something. In casual, maybe not everybody has the operators, and also unranked, I'm pretty sure there would be bans, and some people would end up trying to ban Amaru and Goyo just to be assholes, so. Yeah, we're going to casual. So we got her easy, so that means next time we'll probably get Goyo easy because they didn't have Amaru, so they don't have Goyo. Let's get right into this. So I'm guessing there's a, a t oh there's like a refresh on the grappling hook. I know why. Uh. Okay. Okay. I see you game. How far can it reach? Not too far, but pretty far. So you get four uses. Jeez. Oh, did she shoot me through that soft wall? Just remember, though. Oh, no. She was right there. Just remember, though. This gameplay is just for the operator. It's not showing that I'm good because I'm not good at all. Okay. And we got Go Yo. Let's put a nice little charm on him. He's got all these expensive charms. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what that is, but okay. I'm going to use that. Let's look at these new deployable shields. Nice. You can attach it. You can put the little thing on the back, and then if you shoot that, it explodes. So basically what you want to do is just place these on the doorways and then if somebody's coming in if somebody's coming in you can actually just shoot it and then there you go and you're set this one so you can see their rank it's got a nice little background it shows their level and then their name and then it shows their KD and their rank win loss and their player it says player profile so it's kind of just everything changed around kind of looks better if you press on somebody it says see player profile report cheating slash hacking report griefing report voice abuse so people don't know this but or you might not know this is what I'm saying but they're actually like focusing a little bit on the reporting more so you can report for certain things now so if this person's cheating or doing something like doing an invisible glitch I can report him for that if he's griefing which basically means I think that means team killing or like if I placed all my stuff and then he explodes it on purpose then that is griefing voice abuse which means if he's just cussing being rude racist yelling then that's you can also report for that so I like that uh, comment how you feel about that if you think it's better if you think rainbow even cares or if they just put it there just so people think that rainbows doing stuff who knows but 
if the reports actually start working, then I'll respect it because I've reported so much for people who are cheating, like IQ invisibility glitches, and they just no, they never even helped. Oh, by the way, it's a bonus pistol. I didn't know that because I never used a bonus pistol. But honestly, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good pistol. I don't want to bore you guys with any more gameplay on the operators of me doing bad with them. If you want more gameplay on the operators, then comment down below and I'll put more gameplay. But right now, I'm just going to go straight into explaining how they work. And another add-on to Amaru's repel gun, it doesn't reach that far. So you kind of have to get close to the window to shoot it. That's another, another add. So in conclusion, Goyo, very good with his Vulcan shields, very good operator to settle down in an objective, put your shields on doorways, attach them to doorways, and watch the doorway. So if anybody comes through or near, then you can explode the shield and then it will burn them. If it doesn't kill them, it leaves them weak. If it does kill them, then that's one less operator you have to worry about. Downside, if your teammate runs into it, or if you're not watching that area at the specific, that specific time, then you won't be able to block off the person and they can just fall right over it. It won't explode. So it's not really a trap operator. You kind of have to be watching. But if you're watching and you can shoot the back of your shield whenever you see the person, then it's, it's kind of a trap operator. All in all, on Amaru, let me just switch to her real quick. On Amaru, her Gara hook, very good for getting to the roof really fast if you want to get fast positioning and maybe catch the other team slipping, catch them off guard. I don't know if it's very good in facts of getting around all the time though you get four uses they need to reduce the noise of the gadget itself I've had times from the times I just played to where I will repel somewhere I will grab a hook somewhere and if I get to the the roof no problem right because they're not gonna get me up there but if I'm going to a window or if I'm going to a roof and then I'm going to a window it's pretty loud and they can hear where I'm coming so they can get ready. I had a time, as I'll, you can see right now. That right there is why you're going for it. Go, don't go for your teammates, guys. That person just got killed with a freaking... Ash. Oh my god. To where I went on top of the area and then dropped down and they, they could hear my hook going up above the ceiling because it was so loud. And then I went down and they were already ready for me and they threw a C4 at me and killed me. So that was unfortunate. They need to reduce the noise of it. So in my opinion, right now as they are, Goyo, very good for blocking off areas. Your weaknesses are going to be double doors because you can't attach to both sides. They can kind of run through. Three speeds might get through your fire. So you have to watch out for that. Really good for countering shields because if shields get close and you just shoot it, it goes under them. So it, it doesn't matter if they have a shield or not. Amaru. Very loud operator. So you kind of have to be careful how you use her. She's good for getting around fast. And overall, I don't know if I would, I would rather have Goyo other than her, just because of how loud she is at this current time. If they reduce the noise of it, I would definitely use it. But right now, the downside is that it's too loud. I try to make this video not too long. I might cut some parts out where it was kind of bad. Sometimes I died <laughs> just because I was trying to mess around and use the operators. But I hope you guys like this video. If you enjoyed and you want more operator videos on next season, then, you know, comment down below. Hope you guys liked it. 
Hope you guys smash subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, turn on that post notifications so you never miss a video or a operator video that describes how the operators are. Because my, my friend right here, his name, Adam, he's always going to be set me up because he has he's always going to be getting them season passes. So I'll have them videos out for you guys. See you guys in the next video. You know how I do around here. Peace out and bam. See you guys in the next one.